Magita, Magita, Sata! Hello everyone, Ado here. And right here. And we're back to the world of Final Fantasy. Hey, wanna we'll see my hand clip through my pocket? <laughs> so talk to Tama. Tama? Okay. Grimmar is the waiting for you two. Oh, pfft. Yeah, right. That place is not sapience. That's the <laughs> word, right? When it can think. And it has, like, cognitive thought like a human. I think so. As opposed to... Well, I, I can't remember the other word now. The one Sentient? Th thank you. That's the one that's overused, but it's not quite accurate to what people are thinking they mean. <laughs> Granted, I only at least recently learned that this year. I only recently learned that yet. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes, it's nice to just kick the back and relax. I don't like kicking backs. Sometimes... Is that it? Therapy is in charge of taking the care of your prismeriums. Okay, just want to make sure. And you're not even looking this way, actually. And she has something on her head. Why is there something on your head? Talk with Seraphie. <laughs> that is so half-assed. Oh, go ahead. Water the away. <laughs> that sounds like very different mic quality. Or like they had their hand in front of their face like this in front of the microphone. <laughs> I'll keep talking to her. I wonder if that'll come out correctly on the microphone. Much like me, the prism case will mature over time. Something to look forward to. You haven't ever been and never will the be mature, Seraphie. Wait, what does that mean? Like, they'll evolve in there too while I'm out leveling? I'm not quite sure exactly what she means. I have an idea, but hmm. without context, it wouldn't mean anything. Nobody can learn bench XP, can they? <laughs> Only if you're in your party. <sighs> Talking again, huh? Hey, Seraphie. Um, you seem to have something sitting on your head there. What's the deal with that? Looks like a potion. Huh? <laughs> How did that get there? You didn't even notice? <laughs> oh boy, what a doofus. <laughs> uh, have you checked your head? <laughs> How did that get there? <laughs> Oh boy, what a doofus. Look how adorable you are doofuses. Is. Hey, the word is doofy. <laughs> Here, I'm giving you this, so let's just move on. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but what is this for? The truth is... <sighs> I haven't the foggiest. <laughs> I guess when I go out for a walk, stuff just finds its way onto my head. Well, from now on... Whenever you see some thingamabob parked in my noodle, you just go ahead and help yourselves. <laughs> I see. So you have the ability pickup from Pokemon. That's pretty interesting. I just can't take you out in the field. Ah! <laughs> That's a pretty funny equation. Well, right. I've seen cups of, a couple of other RPGs. They're like, you can just kind of find stuff. You go along with this ability. I'm like, oh, so I pick up. <laughs> I just really find that amusing. Like, that'd be neat if that was a thing. You're just walking along. You know, all something like, bloop, an item just appeared on your Pokemon's head. Yeah, well, it's more like that they just find things and pick it up. It's it's actually a really nice early ability to get if your Zangoose. No, wait. Oh, Zigzagoon, right. if Zigzagoon has it. That's what... Actually, even more interesting for that to be the thing since Gen 3 added abilities. Hmm. So, and since Zigzagoon is one of the earlier Pokemon you can catch, and if yeah. you it's like, what's this thing it says? What's Pickup? Right, right. I forgot. Like, they need to be holding nothing to begin with, because, yes. like, that was in black and white, where the, the little dog creature you could catch in the beginning. What was it? Uh, Ruffet? Ruffet? Ruffet, no. Ruffet. It can't be, uh, it can't be Ruffet. I want to say it's like something like Pupperoo or something like that. <laughs> Something like puppy something, but I can't remember, but it's something like that. Yeah, But because one thing I did was I caught like a team of six of those, and I just walked around, and I just checked them every couple of minutes to see if they picked up anything. Quick question. Talk to her again? Yes. I am so bored. Uh, I mean, boy, do I work hard. You're not fooling anybody when you're not trying. Uh -huh. Oh. I've been told you a million times that I don't need to be the one. Okay, so that's uh, recycled, but that other thing might not be. That's the thing with randomized dialogue. Things will sometimes... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds adorable. I can see that you need my services. More! How much more? Hey, if no one else here is up to the task of saving the world, I will. Yep. I'm just waiting for one particular line to pop up. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, it doesn't sound as half-assed as before. The other one was like, I am so bored. I am so bored. My, what lovely weather we never stop having. <laughs> That's it. That's the lie. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, now go to the twins room. Okay. Because mm -hmm. this will give me an opportunity to do stuff. One of the things I want to do is, like, I hear that this game is great, but, like, you only get the best out of it when you just, like, when you know all the references and things that I'm going to do. Hmm. So I figure for our playthrough, if it hasn't been obvious enough already, like, I am going to try to point out all the references and put up examples and stuff like that. And, you know, no one who watches our playthrough will be lost as long as I have my knowledge to share. So I forgot I could jump because I've been pressing L1 to change Ren, Rain over there. Hmm. I don't know, I almost called her Ren. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. You okay there? Hold on, I'm going to try something real quick, unless this, like, ruins whatever's about to happen if I leave. Uh, no, no, you're free to, like, uh, enter and leave at any time you want. What is it you want to try? If the one of your mirages has learned the stroll ability, oh, okay. it will follow you around in the field. Just take so long as you include it in your line Okay. Speaking of the wake, I have that ability too, so it will always be one to adore or come at your side. Speaking in your line okay? Okay, just never change. <laughs> Except that you will, and I guess I'll have to accept it. Until you can change back, because changing means nothing in this game. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting this a thing. Well, I need to get used to the idea that that exists. <laughs> so then, if I want to change it, then I can. Hey, I just wanted to see would she actually be back to normal or in a different position. She's roughly in the same position, but Chibi doesn't have that many ligaments to have to do for detail. Yeah, and you didn't have to leave to do that. Well, it wouldn't let me do it in here, so... Well, uh, change the them, go small, then change back. I see, so it's still centric to which button, though. Interesting. Anywho, so just talk to them, basically? Yeah. Need something, Lon? That's all she's ever said the entire time, like, I've been playing and go back to this room. Need some? Okay. So, yeah, switch to her. See? But... What's up, Rain? And that's all he says? Yep. What's up? Okay. <laughs> that's one cool moogle. Need something, Lon? But anyways, the reason you came here... Oh, I just remember the one detail I wanted to check, but I keep forgetting to in the field. Uh, Need something, Lon? Okay, they do actually have mouth flaps for these models when they're big like that, apart from being small. Which means, yes, they did put in the quote-unquote extra work because... I mean, it looks like it's a texture, and it might just be... Uh, what's it called? Bump mapping. But it looked like Holy. it was 3D modeled. You know, like the mouth was actually slightly modeled to be embedded, I guess? Yeah, check your bed. Uh, the bed? Like that bed? Uh-huh. Oh, I can examine Sure. Oh, okay. I mean, you get the same effect from just going to a safe point, but you can totally just come back home and rest whenever you want. That's always a nice detail. I liked it when they did that in Skyward Sword. Because I was like, hey, it's like Skyrim, sleep to get better. Now, I hope that's in the new Zelda, but I'm not expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you hear it's been delayed? Oh, no, that it's going to be a delay due to rumors. I was about to say... <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's let's pause for a second there. Let's get the difference here of credits. <laughs> it can't be delayed because of rumors. <laughs> That's just silly. Yeah, there, yeah. I had brought up before about, oh, I've heard, have you heard the rumors that's being delayed for some reason, maybe. Granted, those are only rumors, and I've heard from a source. I'm not even going to say a reliable or a good or a trustworthy just heard from a source that, eh, it's more than likely fake. Probably as fake as the whole Mario's going to be ready to go right off the bat. Which, I can understand that line of thinking, because one was being made to work on the Wii U... Hey, check your items. ...on the Wii U well before it was going to be made for the Switch, more than likely. And the Switch-specific mm. Mario game being made for the Switch, like, why should that be ready sooner than a game that's already been being worked on since before 2016? Yeah, Through I... 2016... And, yeah, like, I can understand, once again, as a thing I said long ago, if the Switch version is delayed, but the Wii U version isn't. Well, I heard I heard a reason as to why it might be delayed, and that's because localization. Yes, that horrible word, localization. Apparently, it's taking longer to localize it for the English-speaking parts of the world. I wouldn't have expected that, actually, to be the reason. Yeah, which is why Europe is going to get the delay, too. Hmm. Anyways, you're here to check out your Invis Centex Invis. I found out what that prototype system was that you brought up oh. and like threw up a picture and a name in the first episode. Well, dang, I wish I looked at that. <laughs> but, uh, well, the yeah, first episode isn't even up yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but anyways, check it. And uh, here, you're, uh, intra you get some neat stuff. Mini games. Haven't unlocked any yet. 
uh, Who's Who, which like uh, is like a little dictionary because you know this is the crossover game. Yeah. And then also Mirage Manual, where it'll allow you to get like a better view of your mirages. Let's just go into it real quick. By the way, wouldn't the other episode be out by the time this one is? So it would be out by now. Well, yeah, but as of this recording, it's not out yet. Okay, but you're probably going to put these out on the same day, aren't you? Well, the first three will go up on Saturday, and then, like, this episode followed by the next episode. Oh, we're, like, like, on the fourth one now. I'm sorry, I lost track of the numbers already. Oops. Okay. You. What would you want me to look at, Tom? Yeah, just a guys. Uh, oh, yeah, and you can also uh, read, like, uh, their stats and stuff. Okay, well, that's nice. I can already do that. All right, uh, and uh, here you can, like, uh, do the whole model rotate... You can like put them in different backdrops to see the different lighting effects that it has on their character. I don't understand the... Oh, that's L1. That's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, see what it's like when Tama is... I don't know. What do you have as a backdrop? Uh, what do you mean backdrop? Oh. Oh, I didn't realize those were over there. Nothing to do. <laughs> Idle animation. Tacking. Oh, yeah. This is the weird thing about it. Is this like uh, you put what they're like uh, reset the camera okay like you put like what they'll do but you can just quick hand it by just like uh hitting d-pad right while over it oh yeah mm -hmm. and uh <laughs> fox fire taking damage oh no weakened oh i'm sad now <laughs> Yeah, and you can do this for, like, all the characters in your Mirage Manual. And, uh, like, eventually you'll unlock backdrops that you'll be able to put them in to see them under different lightings. Oh, wow, you can actually check the ones you haven't caught yet? I guess so. I haven't even tried. Anyways, I, I need to uh, read the thing for uh, Tama. Oh, I thought we already did. I guess not. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Lawn and range trusty navigator. She's not a bunny rabbit, in case that's uh, any confusion there. Nope. Claims to smell like rainbows. As it turns out, there's no way to prove her wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, white with all the other spectrums on the tail as a diamond? I don't know. Yeah, I just kind of find that funny. You can't prove her wrong. <laughs> Damn you and your specifications. Oh, and since we're here, oh, sorry, uh, sorry. this is a good opportunity to throw up some artwork of Tama. So, yeah, that's what she looks like in like some other uh, crossover game or something like that. Oh, there's another one it's in? She's in? Yeah, it, uh, like uh, it's like really stylized uh, artwork and stuff. Oh, remember that suggestion you said that I should put up for borders because our recordings have the weird border things? Yes. You said, just put up artwork by the guy who does the Kingdom Hearts artwork. And I was like, that's presumptuous. <laughs> yes, there is artwork <laughs> out there. I found it. I'm using it for the borders. You were totally right. Great. <laughs> I'm glad I assumed about Tatsuya Nomura. <laughs> yes. Also, I don't know why I keep not noticing something about Tama, but I guess it's not it's easily noticeable. What's that? Dang it. Hold on. This camera's weird. Ah, upward. Force it. Hold on. <laughs> Force it? Hold on. This camera's confusing. I'm trying to figure this one out. Okay. How do I rotate the camera up? I need to go down. That's right. Okay. I hadn't immediately noticed that it has blue tip tail and ears. Mm-hmm. I just now noticing it here. I thought it was all white before. Ah. Which makes some sense. But this one is I guess I should have all noticed because it's like deeper color with red orange tail tips, whatever. Mm. Yurugu. What's so special about her? A fox like Mirage that for whatever reason attacks with Foxfire. <laughs> <laughs> the celebrated artist Gildenbrandt, if I'm reading that right, once foolishly attempted to use a Yurugu as a paintbrush. But needless to say, he found the experience to be completely palatable. Unpalatable, sorry. Wait, yeah. did we even read this? Yeah, that's right, you did. Claim yeah, rainbows. there's no way to prove her wrong yeah. about smelling like rainbows. And we already read the Choco Chick when you caught that. Yeah, it doesn't correct twice. And Sylph, which you also mm. read. Right. Bad. Boundless affection. Good friends. I ran to the big... Ah! <laughs> the camera was really close on that one. Yeah. Oh, this is the middle form of a three evolution? Yep. Jeez, how much bigger does it get for his last form? I have no idea. If it becomes the real behemoth, I would laugh... <laughs> It's like, yes, the final form for some is becoming the real size. Oh, I was just imagining it would basically be like Final Fantasy X. Like, remember when you fought the behemoth in there? If you yes. didn't kill it quick enough, it just got up on both its legs. Oh. And then, like, was even stronger than before. Yeah. Like, oh, man, was that annoying. Wasn't I think that, 13 well, actually did that also. Wasn't that only the special behemoth near the end of the game? Uh, you only fought the behemoth near the end of the game. No, there was a purple one, because the one near the end of the game was a white one, and when he got up, he casted Meteor. Oh. I remember that, because it was bad, but we were super strong, so... 
A hulking beast with large, powerful horns. Also, a heavy mouth breather. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? But even heavier than that is its fearsome heavy counter, which is enough to make even the spooniest bard... Sorry, he swung his loot. <laughs> yeah, spooniest bard. I have no idea where that's from specifically. I just know that that is quite the infamous Final Fantasy Why, well, you reference. see, it was part of the original English translation for, I want to say, five, because that one had the bards, I think, with the whole... Like, that was one class you could be, but you multiclassed or something. Yeah, well, if it's not five, it's three. If it's not that, it's something else. I don't know. It's from Final Fantasy. It I was an could... English translation. And starting to see reference jokes like this is reminding me of when they do this stuff in some more common today stuff that I can't remember right now. Why can't I remember right now? <laughs> Dang it. I was just going to say, thinking about it, I think it's actually from Final Fantasy IV. Possible. Like, I swear I remember this old dude who's like a party member who's all pissed off because his daughter <laughs> ran away with the bard and uh, he wanted to kill him or something like that. And it was like, I will get you your spoony bard or something. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I'll look it up and then, like, I'll probably throw up even a screenshot of, like, the famous line or whatever. I just realized that one story I was hearing earlier, I think it was that D&D thing. That's the guy who was, like, Spoony the Bard. Yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't, I just thought about that. So, who's who? Yes. Who's who? Woo! Lon. He's doing the cool hand pose, because it's all he's got. <laughs> ah, he's uh, voiced by Joss Keaton. So, Joss. that's one of the things I like about this game. They actually put the English VAs up here. Whew, can't say that I see that too often. Age in Ninewood Hills, 15. So That's awfully specific. Yes. Nopes, marking on left arm. Dude, Rain's younger twin brother. Mentally incontinent, but morally regular. <laughs> okay. Considers proper word usage to be optional. <laughs> he appeared in the world of Final Fantasy. And, uh, yeah, you can, like, uh, change his appearance uh, between oh, normal combat. <clears throat> and mini combat. <laughs> Yep, and like if you examine them, you can do the same thing like uh, with the uh, other creatures. So where you can see, oh, but the thing is, since you actually have field uh, movement and stuff, yeah, like they all have that walking, running, and like uh, you can go through. You'll unlock backdrops as you continue. You can like have them go over various voice clips and stuff like that. the The voice clips are nothing original. It's all just stuff that like uh, you've heard them say. Like, if you go voice right now, like, I think you'll actually even see him do the mouth well, movement. Well, that ought to do it. Hmm. Actually, I have something to say. All oh, right, because, you know, victory and all this that. This is stuff. it! Like, even like that, they'll still talk normally. Oh. World of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Barrage Keepers? Me and Rain? So yeah, I think it's like uh, really nice to where they have that for everybody. They don't say anything when they're tiny. I know this now. Mm. Not done yet. Never mind. Well, I guess it's just one of those random things, because otherwise it'd be like come predictable and annoying if it was always the same thing all the time. <laughs> he just can't handle it. <laughs> so yeah, that's long. You'll actually unlock more as like as you progress through the story. I see. And here's rain. Voiced by Amanda Layton, uh, age in Ninewood Hills, 15. Markings on her right arm, Lon's older twin sister. Likes to call the shots and keep Lon in line. In other words, be a bitch. <laughs> Always on the ball. Almost makes up for Lon with her quick judgment and careful planning. Otherwise. And she's from the world of Final Fantasy. Otherwise, no. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to like uh, go through her animations and dialogues like, if you want for her. I'm kind of so, well, confused that Lon doesn't have a weapon, but she does, while they both have the gauntlet. Mm. It's weird. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen, except not really. Yeah, I did kind of find that a little bit uh, odd myself. And I find it even odder that when Lon attacks, he doesn't uh, always attack with his gauntlet. Like, he'll actually attack with his right hand, but he'll do so, like, in a claw striking oh, yeah. motion. Mm. Like, the dagger looks nice. Yeah. And then she dead. <laughs> World of Final Fantasy. Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. Okay. And that's Not even going to check the last one? I did. That was it. Oh, well, it was World, Don't Talk Down, and then what else? Yeah, it was 
the, um, the bolder sister because shut up. No, no, what was the third one? I, I did the third one. Hold on. Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, uh, that's the second one. Last time I checked, little bro, I thought I, I skipped it accidentally or something. Oops. So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, but yeah, it's all just basically that lines that like we'll you've heard as you're going through the game. Okay. And you're Tom, and I already looked at you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you actually have things. Voiced by Lisa K. Jennings. Age immeasurable due to her alternate interpretation of time. <laughs> uh, notes. Navigator. Talks the funny. Floats. Rides on people's heads. A little girl at heart. Knows how to run with a joke. Pure and innocent. And apparently from Apocrypha World of Final Fantasy. Right. Whatever I, that means. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe a comic of some sort. And like, uh, oh yeah, like other than like uh, that, like uh, should be the same as in the um, the, <laughs> the other thing. And it's kind of funny for a title animation. She just stands there, but she can float all the time. So it's kind of funny. There's even standing and walking. Running makes the most sense. But that type of animation just reminds me of how they animated Mewtwo running in Smash. Ah. Especially Smash Four. But, ah, those animations are probably for when you have her out in the field running around with you. I had figured that already. I just wanted to make sure. And what about you? Ah, voiced by Nancy Sullivan. Thank you. I really like the personality you bring to this character. It's uh, part of the enjoyment. Age. Immeasurable. Notes. Undetectably excited. <laughs> Refuses to enthuse. <laughs> Supposedly everyone's favorite pixie. Not everyone's. Okay, supposedly everyone's favorite pixie. Flies. Of course. Watering can. <laughs> How did that get there? Keeps cards close to her chest. What cards? I guess that's why. I don't see them <laughs> too close to her chest. Yeah, one thing I like, if you look at her model that I failed to notice until I bothered to, like, uh... Come here and like examine her. Was it? She has this big old flower on her back. That's her tail. I noticed that whenever we were talking to her, and it showed her back, and I was like, "Oh, they all have a flower." Yeah, she's like I'm so like, she was just so adorable. I was so transfixed on like her adorable face and all that kind of stuff that I just didn't really notice that like she has a flower tail. She's an odd kitty cat fairy person thing. <laughs> like this is just throwing them all together. Hmm. I think it works well. Hello. And then we have this confusing girl for me. Voiced by Julie Nathanson. Agent Grimoire. Immeasurable. Notes. Wears glasses just for show. <laughs> Washes from world to world. Choco Latte Mart proprietor. Choco Chick. Choco Boco Lina. Choco Boco Ching. It's got any question marks. That's mm -hmm. funny. Yeah, and like, uh, the one thing I find is that it's just, she's from the Final Fantasy XIII, too. It's like, that just confuses matters even more for me. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and she's got a strut for her walking, of course. <clears throat> so, yeah, what does she have to say about the situation? Ugh, I knew you were going to stop me there. Chocoboco Ching! Okay. Super cross dimensional sales girl. <laughs> You can't spell the cool cat without chocolate. I'm not going to question her on that one because I'm too lazy. I'll see if I can do that and put it up. All right, so Although now I'm gonna... trying to remember. Wait, was she the only one that had some uh, special dialogues to her? Or did uh, the mm -hmm. other characters have that? Apparently the Choco Chick actually has a voice actress, which I think that's funny. Hmm. Melissa Fawn, huh? And if you have nobody to attribute that to, Ed from Cowboy Bebop. Really? Annie Sir Annis from Tales of the Abyss, because I forget how you pronounce her name. Hmm. I run out of ideas from there. No, wait. Well, I'm not sure if you know that one, but do you remember Ari Nina Mori from Fully Cooley, the purple-haired girl? Yes. She voiced her, too. Ah. I mean, that one's a little bit of a stretch, but I do hope that she reprises her role if she reappears in the Fully Cooley season two and three. Ah. The only reason I remember her is because of, like, how much I liked her in the manga. Hmm. <laughs> but, uh, Notes. A slightly undersized but otherwise ordinary choco chick. Or is she? <laughs> Who knows? Oh. First appeared in Final Fantasy 13. Oh, a choco chick has never existed before then? Uh, nope. 
but like uh, remember like uh, I was just like hey look at 13 we have a black dude again but now he's blacker with like an afro and check it out he has a fly bird just in there uh, you remember size yeah yeah I see what you mean. Oh. Yeah, and at first I was wondering, why does a choco chick have its own... Okay, so that's just there at the back of the book. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, click on it. It ain't gonna do anything. Oh, it just stops you because, like, you don't have it yet. Uh, even when you do get it, nothing pops up. Well, that's stupid. Okay, but yeah, I, at first I wondered, why is there a choco chick with its own profile? But now that I know what I know about the super dimensional sales girl... Hmm. It makes sense. I'll cover it like uh, later, but still, feel free to like uh, continue on and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, now I like this idea that we have even more like uh, interdimensional characters. Oh yeah, yeah, go back to Anna if you don't know where to go. Oh, I was, Anna. I was like, what? Yes, yeah. I, I was like, where is Anna? And like, you meant the person. Yeah. So there better be some motherfucking triple trout on that bitch, cause I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking. Not... <laughs> no, it's. I all mean, right. in the crossover game. Yeah, we... I know that'd be perfect. And hopefully, it's not like uh, that other one from Final Fantasy IX, Tetra Master. That one was confusing, and I never oh, God, understood. I, it. I tried to go back to that. It was horrible. I never understood it, and I tried. Oh, jeez. <laughs> anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leading us? Yes. You handle things now. Oh, okay. I the will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down <clears throat> tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Huh? Down. But, she but where are you going now? Me. Oh, well. Somewhere what else, of course. Mean? Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need well, to ask you so many things. things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light okay. banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? <laughs> well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll see you later. Or not. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out. But for somebody calling the cosmic shots... She seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pretty the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. And that's what caused me to adore her right there. Mm. I mean, just like, wow. <laughs> just, just, yeah, just introduce God, just like that. You're way better than Cosmos. <laughs> I like you so much. <laughs> and yeah, I guess it is pronounced Anna Crow and not uh, Anna. Sorry, I just want to make a joke like, yo, come on, Cosmos, what have you even done? No, actually, I have no idea. Have you appeared in any <laughs> games since before Dissidia? <laughs> no. Because it's because at that point, it's like, wait, so you have, you have technically you haven't even existed before Dissidia then. They just made up a reason that you existed somehow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm actually surprised they never made her playable in a form, but they made a playable form of chaos. Mm-hmm. By having violent chaos. Yeah. That's a weird idea. Yeah. Oh, but anyways, speeding up conversation. Are you the impatient type? Here's a fun little trick. During cutscenes, you can hold R1 to quickly speed through the conversation. Oh, not good enough for you? <laughs> then you can always press options, then triangle to skip the scene altogether. Yeah, I prefer the latter whenever it's replaying a game. And <laughs> it's like, you know, don't just press start to skip. Give me what MGS4 and Xenosaga did. I think Xenosaga had that. I'm not sure, actually. I know you could pause the cutscenes. I forget if you could skip them, though. Yeah, you could. Okay. Point is, yeah, that's the better kind of thing where you can pause a cutscene. The better one is when you can hit a menu button, it actually will stop it there. Unlike in some games back in the Xbox, where it's like, uh-oh, I need to stop right now in Dead Rising, and then it keeps going. 
Of course, if you start skipping scenes with abandon, it won't be long before you have zero idea what's going on in the story. But then again, if this is your second trip through Grimoire, you may want to get down to business. You'll always... Uh, you've always got the adventure log to fall back on. Yeah. And just so you know, the fast forward thing works in battle. Oh, okay, so just holding R1. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, I just like that. I just like that. And like, if you ever heard me say, well, thanks, Anna, or something like that, <laughs> like, yeah, I was basically referring to Anna, you know, being God and stuff. Yeah. So, uh... Whew, that was a lot. I think it's time to save. <laughs> oh, okay, it's gonna explain <laughs> this now. Save crystals. Save crystals form naturally in dangerous places throughout Grimoire. In addition to restoring your HP and AP, they allow you to save your progress and access the prism case. Oh, so that's a way I can not have to use the prism phone. Uh-huh. Save crystals are places of peace and safety. When you see one, remember to save your progress, because you never know what dangers lie around the next corner. That's it? Okay. Then I'll save so that doesn't come back up. Because <laughs> there's a reason there. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Ho-ho! Yeah. I was about to ask a question before the save thing came up. A yeah. sort of important question, but I'm forgetting what it was now, which is why it was only sort of important. Mm -hmm. I wish I could flip and remember what it is now. Damn it. Oh, well, this place is pretty. Mm -hmm. Too bad it's devoid of life! Yes, uh, it's nothing to do but to return back to Grimoire. So, like, go on and uh, make your trip back. Uh, uh, and as you get back to the place where you died, like, it'll give me a chance to go over something. Okay. You sure we got the time for it? Yeah, we have enough time for that. Oh, okay, there's multiple places. Oops, there's a picture there. I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, oh, I just need to select this and go back. Ah! <laughs> I was expecting that. Oh, now it's telling me about changing leaders. <laughs> yes, press R1 to toggle which character you control. It doesn't have to be lawn for the long haul, or rain always taking the reins. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a change of pace. The character in the lead has no effect on combat, so feel free to use this feature just for fun. So they won't even switch places well, and... Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh, yeah, I want names. <laughs> That's right, just dig your heels right in. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's a squirrel. Speaking of battles, tired of the grind? Then here are a few tips uh, you're sure to like. Hold R1 during battle to fast forward and make time fly like a speeding Tama. You can also enable auto battle mode with a single press of the touchpad. In this mode, the party continues fighting without any input from you. A few words of warning though. When playing in active mode, time continues to flow while you're choosing your commands, which means enemies will keep attacking while you fast forward. Also, in auto battle mode, party members merely repeat the last command you gave them. They don't make choices for you, so keep an eye on the action. Hmm. Targeting with the basic menu. When using the basic menu, enemies are targeted automatically for you. However, you can always override this and use left D-pad and right D-pad to manually select the target. <laughs> Sorry, it's just boring me with these things that I've already learned since before we started. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna kill you. No, wait, I should leave her you. Oops. That's not it. Wait. Oh, I'm on the ferry. Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought, okay, I thought Lang got there first for some reason. Well, then just have her defend. Well, what if I attack and don't actually kill it? I was like, where's defend? I'm not used to this because yeah. I haven't done any of these When yet. you defend, like, uh, it only puts you halfway down the meter, oh. so your turn comes up that way quickly. Let's see what you got, squirrely. You're a moo! I already should have figured that. I said your name. Use physical attacks to create a prism unity. It requires a moo mo prism. And of course, you already have one because this is your first encounter with one. Yeah. So just smack it across the face once and be like, get in the ball. Now, don't that speed up stuff? Yes, it does. It also speeds up noise and things like that. I just want to speed it up before we, when we get to the thing. I understand. Go! Do it! Gotta speed this up. Yes. Yeah! Ah, oh, dang it. I missed it. <laughs> Great, now oh. I have to load my save over again. <laughs> Well, at least the fell came quickly more than usual. Wait, I just thought of something. Yes. If I can only get more of these imprisoned balls from get, having the monster and leveling them up, what happens if I just miss all my opportunities of catching that type of species? Then I can't catch one. No, you'll I... always have the one. Oh, wait, what? So I just can do it again? I take it you forgot when it told you that you won't lose them if it doesn't work. Oh, no, I didn't see that, because I'm not used I... to a game giving you that option. I, I read that out clearly. Don't worry, you won't lose them if it doesn't work. So, 
throw him freely! Okay, I didn't catch that at all. Sorry. Okay. My bad. I just... I was already used to the idea of Pokemon like... Oh, you used it. Sorry, you're screwed all now. Right. That's extremely useful, so you can just try forever until you win, with basically. Or die, you know, or it dies, one or the other. Come on, Sylphie, I'll, I'll evolve. Something's gonna die eventually. Yeah, I obtained zero gil, but I got it. Right. Baby. And with that, oh, right. Too uh, late for that, we got three <laughs> squirrels. Only a moo, a cute little forest animal. Or at least that's what it wants you to think. Then pow, a tail punch to the jaw. Because if you'll notice, its uh, tail is uh, kind of shaped like a little fist. Kind of like those rabbit Pokemon from Pokemon that have the fist ears. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's Digsby and Diggersby. I forget the name of the baby bunny, but Diggersby is definitely the big fat one. Huh, like, he's was... very obviously has big muscle arm ears. <laughs> uh, okay. Look forward to throwing one of those up. Uh, <laughs> this mirage has nothing to do with the legendary continent. May or may not speak Moo when upset. I don't know what the legendary continent of Moo is, but whatever. I think it's a Final Fantasy reference. I don't know. I'll throw up a picture if I find a map or something. Okay. And those are like all the abilities. Yeah, I'm just looking. Learn. You don't have to keep this in. No. <laughs> of course I have to keep it in. We're not done yet. Yeah, well, uh, oh, are you going to name it or are you just going to keep it at default? I don't even know what this is. So I'll use default. That way I can remember what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool, it makes its own noise. And it makes a squirrely noise, like a Pokemon would do. And I think its nose did like a little drill. Okay, so we're not done yet. <laughs> experience. The experience you earn in battle is split between all participating party members. Mirages that are accompanying you, but didn't fight in battle, still receive a flat 8% of the total experience earned. So according to this screen, I can have the full 6 party, but then there can be like 8 more, apparently. Okay, it's actually 6 more, but still. Well, you can have uh, 6 in reserve, and then there's a 6 that actually fight. That's a lot, actually. However, mirages in your prism case get nothing, so make sure to bring mirages along with you if you're trying to make them stronger. Well, as long as that flight 8% can be a large amount, as long as they don't have to actually be used in the battle. It's not too bad, actually, in my experience going through the game. Well, I was going to say, unless we can do the Pokemon strategy, and it's like, okay, you're here right now. Now, switch out the reserve that's stronger than you, and then they'll still get the full experience as if they fought, right? No. I mean, it's still... Oh, it doesn't... Also, I see there's a misinterpretation on experience, like, um... It, it says split between all participating party members. So that means if you get like 40 experience, that doesn't mean that 40 experience goes to every person that fought. It I already, means it took 40 experience and divided that up six ways amongst everybody. I already had figured that, sadly. It took me too long uh, to figure that out. Well, I used to, I'm used to the Pokemon idea where it does that by default when you put in more Pokemon. Ah. And experience share, I don't know how that one works, but it works good enough if you have it on. Okay. So, with that, I have to uh, stop this now. Yeah, well, I'm going to get back there. Oh, we'll don't, see... don't, don't, don't. Oh, well, I guess we'll see you there next time. See you, everyone, in the next episode.